Hi, I'm Lloyd Reber, and I'm going to be your instructor for this open online course called Statistics and Education for Mere Mortals. Of course, most parents were wise enough not to actually buy their son an accordion. The first example is bowling. So let's now talk about the four scales of measurement. Because I think most people get confused. They struggle with what's the difference between inter interval and ratio scales of measurement. And with enough scores, I begin to get this curve that we all know so well. Ted Williams was the last Major League Baseball player to hit 400 in a season. Now an interesting question is simply, why is that? Before we go any further, I want to talk a little bit about what I think is one of the most challenging aspects of statistics for a lot of people. And it's really just the fact that the mathematical symbols we're going to be using are going to be very strange and unfamiliar. So let's take a look at the formula. I'm actually hoping you're getting rather excited at this point and you're saying to yourself, I think I know exactly what to do. So another way of looking at it would be that you have the sum of each of these square deviations from each of the three groups. Hi everyone, Lloyd Reber here again with our next example of using Excel to compute some statistics. So we have the student score. So I'll just click on student A's score, 34. Let's continue. We're going to subtract from that, so a minus sign. And then we're going to come down and click on the mean of that sample. In this video, we compute the first of three inferential statistics covered at the course and the first of two t-tests. So how do we compute that standard error of a difference? Well, that looks pretty daunting. And uh, you might be uh, getting a little nervous at this point, but just relax. And of course, the last part is simply to divide the numerator by the denominator. So let's go down to the cell below the label t-value, click on it, put an equal sign, click on t-numerator, divide by, so the forward slash, enter that, and then click on the T denominator starting with 1.57 and press return. Excellent. In this video we compute the third of three inferential statistics covered in the course, namely an analysis of variance or ANOVA for short. Well I am so close to being done I can almost taste it. 